there guys, Coaster Chow here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, so welcome to a theme park newsroom update, where today we're going to be talking about Dollywood, because we have some news regarding their 2023 multi-generational roller coaster, and this is all about what type of coaster we are expecting, and from the plans released from a meeting a few days ago, we can see it's going to be a multi-launch roller coaster, a family multi-launch coaster, so before we get started guys, Make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this. Subscribe if you're new around here. Click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We're on the road to 3,000 subs and a million views. Let's get there as soon as possible ASAP. Speaking of staying tuned for more videos, go and check out the first video today reacting to KSI the Musical. It was a wonderful experience. Shout out to Liam Bedford. Shout out to everyone involved in that. Go and subscribe to them. Go and look for them on YouTube or go to the description of that video and find Liam Bedford's YouTube link and the original video link to watch it for yourselves because trust me, it is well worth the watch. Also guys, check the description down below for social media links and also the Google Forms link where you can submit your own video ideas for the channel. And for now guys, let's have a look at exactly what's being added for 2023 at Dollywood and where in the park it's going. So as you can see on your screen from conceptual site layout option B, it is in Wildwood Grove. It's the second phase of the Wildwood Grove expansion and you can see here it is a family launch, multi-launch roller coaster uh, now you can see just outside the yellow line uh, out there you can see reserved for future expansion so this says to me that they're not even done with expanding Wildwood Grove in my opinion that's one big thing to note and you can see different uh, things in here obviously it's very blurred what the uh, specific uh, elements of this ride but you can see right at the top and sort of further down of the little checkboard on the left hand side you can you can try and make out launch one and launch two now obviously uh, this confirms it to be a multi-launch roller coaster. We can't see any inversions on this coaster, so it looks like it will be a family launch. And on your screen right now, Fan Dabby Dozy, this looks to me like a Intamin style family track design. Now, in my opinion, that leads me to believe that it will be an Intamin multi-launch family roller coaster. Uh, now, there's been talk of a motorbike style uh, train, like the or the ATV style train, like the uh, Juvelin at the Summerland or Yukon uh, um, uh, Yukon uh, Quad at La Paul. Um, all the kind of ATV style tra uh, train designs. So I think that um, I think that's what we're looking at here. Maybe not the ATV train design, but something uh, on the theme of Wildwood Grove. Obviously, it will be themed to Wildwood Grove, uh, but it will be an Intamin multi-launch family roller coaster. It'll open in 2023 at Dollywood, and it looks like it's going to be exceptionally well themed, as is the rest of the area. So I'm really excited about this. Now I'm going to share my thoughts on exactly what's going on with Dollywood. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is speaking about Dollywood and their multi-launch family coaster for 2023. Now, am I, you know, saddened that it's not a thrill coaster? Not really. It, not really. And the reason why I say that is because... And, and I know why people th people immediately thought family coaster when they saw multi-generational in, the, um, in the previous video. And people understood my theories about multi-generational meaning other things. But it is now confirmed to be a family coaster. Am I sad about this? No, because I think the thrill coaster potentiality in the future beyond 2023 is still in the mix, in my opinion. I think that uh, that's still in the offering. But I feel like this is perfect for Wildwood Grove. Now, obviously, we don't know if um, the future expansion outside of the coaster area could be for the potential rumoured dart ride that was going to go into that area. I think there was rumours of a Sally Corporation dart ride. There was rumours of different dart rides uh, being chosen for Wildwood Grove as part of an expansion of the area. We don't know if that's still going to happen. That might be after 2023 now. Um, but I'd be really excited to see exactly what's going to happen. I'm really excited to see what is going to happen. I'm excited to see the progress on this. I'm excited to see what's going to happen with this. And uh, I'm a huge fan of this, by the way. I'm a really big fan of this new roller coaster. And um, I think it's going to be a really nice addition to Dollywood. So in terms of theme, what am I expecting? Maybe something fairy-like? Obviously, Wobble Grove's quite a, 
an enchanting area, quite a, a fairy tale journey in a way. Um, you know, it's like a fairy tale journey, uh, bringing the magic of fairy tales with the woodland. So it's like a, a very light hearted woodland themed area, but it has this like enchanting feel about it. So, I mean, I'd like to see something like a Pixie Hollow style theme or like, um, I, like you know, you know what kind of fairy Tinkerbell is from Disney and stuff like that. I'm kind of thinking like that, where it's like uh, light, like light up fairy kind of theme, and it's like flying through the hollows, um, or it's like uh, maybe like a firefly race, something like that. So you're sitting in cars that sort of resemble kind of fireflies or a modern train design version of a firefly, and you're sort of racing through the Wildwood Grove area. That might be an idea. I, I, I'm not too sure at this point, uh, at this moment, but. Um, you know, I think it's gonna be really interesting to see what's gonna happen. It'd be interesting to see how the the themes and the rumors develop, um, and I'd be interested to see what your thoughts are about this. What names and themes and you know types of trains and, and stories for this coaster would you think of? Comment down below your thoughts and opinions, and I'd love to hear it uh, straight from you guys in the comment section. But for now, guys, that's gonna be it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Big week coming up for the channel. Stay tuned. Uh, Sunday, we have the preview for the Alton Towers trip. On Monday, 28th of June, I will be at the Alton Towers Resort for my 21st birthday. If you do see me at the park, don't be afraid to say hi at a social distance and have a photo at a social distance. Also, guys, Tuesday trip review. I will be reviewing the trip on the Tuesday. So if you want to hear my thoughts about the trip, and then stay tuned for that review. Also, the vlog will be up uh, either the Monday or the Tuesday. So, uh, And we're also going to do lots of filming, by the way. We're going to do lots of off-ride filming uh, for different rides and attractions. So we can do loads of off-ride videos, upload to the channel over a period of time. And uh, so there's going to be a lot of content coming from Alton Towers. Don't you worry about that. But for now, guys, that's going to be it from me. My name is Coast Shell. Keep them in the coast life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Stay tuned for two big Halloween updates from Halloween Horror Nights Orlando on Jackie's Back and the return of Beetlejuice. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Have a Dollywood-tastic day.